5. The equation nx squared plus n plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0 has two distinct real roots. Show that n squared minus 10n plus 9 is greater than 0 and find the sets of values of n which satisfy these inequality. So what I meant is that function or quadratic equation has two distinct real roots and that meant that the discriminant d which is b squared minus 4ac must be greater than 0. From the equation I've got I know that nx squared plus n plus 3 x plus 4 equal to 0 where a equals n b equals n plus 3 and c equals 4 so I need to substitute those values into the discriminant so I get n plus 3 squared minus 4 into bracket n and times 4 and that is greater than 0. I need to, I need to expand n plus 3 squared. To do that I know that a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. A is n, B is 3, so I can get n squared plus 6n, that's 2 times 3, minus plus 9, that's 3 squared, minus 16n greater than 0. Minus 4 times 4 times n is minus 16n. Now I need to simplify, so I get n squared minus 10n plus 9 greater than 0. So we have just proved the quadratic here, inequalities here, that is requested in the question. Just derive that. Now we need to find the sets of value of n. So that means we need to solve these. And to do that, we have to say, well, I want to find a is 1, because there's a 1 here. So I want to factorize it. b equals minus 10, so that's minus 10 here. And c equals 9. So let's see to factorize that. Now to factorize it, I need to say a, c equals 9 which is 1 times 9 is 9. Two numbers I can get when I multiply them together I get 9 when I add them together I get minus 10. So I get the b minus 10 and if I multiply them together I get the ac. So this is minus 1 minus 9. Minus 1 times minus 9 is 9. Minus 1 plus minus 9 is minus 10. All I need to now do is replace this, put n next to it, and replace 1 by n. Now, if I could, if I take minus n minus 9, n, I hope it can become minus 10. I can replace it to replace minus 10n. So now let's write the new expression or equation. Or quadrat um, inequalities n squared minus n minus 9n that is minus 10n plus 9 is greater than 0 so I can see common factor here which means n is common n minus 1 See another common factor here, minus 9, which means minus 9, I get n minus 1. 
greater than zero. I can see a new factor here, n minus one, n minus one, and then I see the the other factor, n minus nine. So what I need to write down now is n minus one is a factor, and n minus nine, which is greater than zero. And that meant n minus one is greater than zero, n is greater than one. Also, n minus nine is greater than zero, n is greater than nine. So my roots that I'm going to use are n is greater than one and n is greater than nine. So now I need to sketch this curve so that I can answer and then, sh um, and then find the two s the sets of values that satisfy the inequalities. Right, I need to draw a graph here. Let's just draw a straight line. This is the y axis. Draw the x axis. And my factors are or my roots are. So I got the first one is one. That's one there. And the second one, one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the second one, which is nine. So this point here is nine. So we got the first point there where the graph will cross. It will also cross at the intercept. So if this is Let's say this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it will be crossing here at plus 9. So that's the curve here, the clock crossing at plus 9. Here, yeah, plus 9. So we've got the point. We can also find the, the turning point of the curve. N equals minus B over 2A. So this is the n axis. That's where y equal to zero. And this is the y axis. That's where n equal to zero. Now, b is minus 10. Minus times minus 10 is 10. And a is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And that will give 5. So the turning point would be at 5. So that's one, two, three, four, five here. That's the turning point there. We can also find the value of y at the turning point because we know that y equals n squared minus 10n plus nine. N is five, so you're going to get 25 minus 50, that's five times 10, plus nine, and that will be Minus 25 plus 9, that was, that's minus 16. So at the turning point, let's say this is minus 16 here. So that would be the value at the turning point here, minus 16. This x, this is x equals 5. The x equals 5 is the line of symmetry. The n equals 5 is the line of symmetry. So that's n equals Five. The curve will have a turning point here, and then it will go through nine value here. So that's the minimum value here. Now we can answer the questions. The question says that the function is greater than zero, so that that is greater than zero, so we need to find the inequalities for it. Now the function will be greater than zero by selecting the points where it's greater than zero. So that's the point here as well. It's not including one and nine. But the y value, you can see the y value is greater than zero there. You see the y value is greater than zero there. And the y value is greater than zero. And also the x value is greater here. 
and the x value is greater along there. So now what we need to do is write down the domain for that. And the domain, the domain is going to be open curly bracket. We're writing domain for the n. So now the n colon n is less than one. Close curly bracket union union means all open curly bracket n colon n is greater than nine close curly bracket and that's the domain we could also find the range so to find the range even though we're not asked to find the range by the way so u equals or that's so to find the range we need to because we're starting from minus 16 the lowest value so you have to use a square bracket because that means it equals minus 16 as well so you go y colon minus 16 less or equal then y remember if you say minus 16 is less than y that meant y must be greater than less or equal my y y must be greater or equal to minus 16 that's what that statement meant and less than positive infinity a curly bracket And that's the range, that's the y value, the range. Mm -hmm.